My name is John Hardy. I'm a consultant orthopaedic surgeon. Now the key for any surgeon to the management of synovial chondromatosis like this is to find the cheese play that's causing the wear of the cartilage and these cartilage bodies. There it is. This is a band from the medial synovial shelf to the plica. So what's happening is that band is causing the surface of the joint to be shaved off excessively. Now the lining of the joint picks up the cartilage that's being shaved off and produces these synovial bodies. It does this through metaplasia. There's all the loose bodies. The first thing to do now is to make sure that you find that band and divide it. Take the pressure off that medial plica as it shaves around the medial femoral condyle. Next thing I'll do is take a Smith & Nephew incisor plus and remove that bit of the medial synovial shelf or medial plica that's shaving away at the surface of the joint. I think the key to the operation is also to remove the infrapatellar plica which holds it down. Now here you can see one of the synovial uh, protrusions producing these loose bodies. I'll remove that at the same time. When you're doing this operation, it's really important to remove as many of those loose bodies as is humanly possible. Otherwise, they just act as third body wear. They're pretty soft. They're not going to produce rapid wear, but they're going to produce wear. There's the end of the ligamentum mucosum. I'm just removing that. What I'll often do is just put the shaver in between the condyles of the joint, put the suction on, and pull out anything, any loose bodies that are hiding either under the meniscus, at the back of the knee joint, or are stuck to the articular cartilage itself, like that one. I tend to use this Arthur Care uh, wand to seal the tissues around the joint after having shaved away part of that Hoppus fat pad and the medial plica. That seals it pretty well. It also deals with the synovium. Just look for any little sneaky bits behind the ACL in that case or in the superpatella pouch. Thanks for watching this short video. Hope it helps.